Okay, do with Emma who has the disc protrusion with a sciatica, a little bit of sciatica and stenosis. Now, we were working on her range with treatment. She was working on some exercises. Her range has improved, which is great. And so we're gonna work on the strengthening component for her lower back. She's already doing quite a few things like dead bugs and bird dogs and side planks and planks. Some specifics we need to do to help stabilize that lower segment. Let's have a look at her range though. So now that she's been working on a bit of exercise, she can go, look at that, into extension. There's still a little bit there left there, but that's heaps better. And she's found the bike, find the swim, and she's even managed a little run, 1.5 to 2K, all right? And no worse, so she's felt a little bit, and some of that is strengthening. So if we're gonna be able to increase the running, now they're getting the range back, we've got to jump on the strengthening component. So she's already doing stuff, but let's get specific. So we're gonna get you doing an isometric lumbar extension hold. So jump on your front for me. This one she can do on a bench in the gym. She can also do it on a sofa at home, but you'll need a partner, or a bed at home. In the bench, you can see she's gonna hook her legs under here to hold herself there, okay? If you put your legs up on top. If she's got a partner at home, she put her legs up on top, they will have to hold the legs like that or sit on that sort of thing. Otherwise, she's gonna fall off. So she needs a counterweight, an anchor for the legs. Today, what she's gonna do, pop them under there. And that's just gonna keep her legs involved. The good thing about this is, she can use this, she can rest on her hands, she can rest on her elbows, she can completely relax the back. So this is in between sets, or in between reps. That's fully relaxed, legs are fully relaxed. Okay, that allows the recovery between the reps. But this way of doing it here, she's gonna use her legs. We're gonna train her brain, her back, to strengthen the back, and use the legs like you would in a deadlift or a squat. Okay, you use your legs, you're getting loading strength for your back. So she's gonna work on hamstrings and glutes to help give her some isometric loading strength in her back. But we're gonna challenge this back. So what we don't want is extension movement. I'm just doing extension here without any hip movement. We're trying to train her to be stable and static in here because she needs that for the run. She needs to be absolutely rock solid here and the hips and hammies doing all the work when she runs, so that's how we're gonna train her. So, to come up, this is what I, she's not gonna do, okay? So if you arch your back for me and come up, she's not gonna extend like that and try and curve through there and try and hold it. Okay, that's gonna fatigue the absolute bejesus out of her. So what she's gonna try and do, and, and this is where you've gotta have your hips sort of forward enough, so she's gonna try and rotate back and tilt back at the pelvis. Good, hold it there for me. Now this is hard, so she's only gonna do 10 seconds to start with. So her Full glutes are on, okay? Full hip extension, hammies are going isometric there. Have a rest, there's 10 seconds. She goes down, because she's just starting off in this. Eventually, she'll get to 30 seconds, maybe even 45, to hold herself there. If she gets to the 45 mark, she's gonna be fine, okay? But what she's trying to practice is tell her brain, I don't wanna bend here, okay? And I certainly don't wanna tilt back and sort of go into flexion. As she comes up, she tilts back, go again for me, tilt, 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 hold. So you think she's shortening here, shortening the glute, shortening the hamstring, that's her loading sort of hold. And then because she's holding her upper body up, she's strengthening through her lumbar back, lower back, and all out through here. She's maintaining nice and neutral. Come down again, there's a 10 second hold. So she's gonna try and aim for maybe six of those, building to maybe 10. As she improves in the time factor, so as she goes, do one more, one more for me. <laughs> Come up, tilt, 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 tilt. Good, make sure the glutes on, great. As she can go past 10 seconds and go up to 30 seconds, she needs to reduce the number of reps. So it's all relative, okay? She wouldn't do six locks for 30 seconds or 10 locks for 30 seconds. She's only gonna maybe do three locks for that because it's all about volume. Down you go again, have a rest, awesome, okay. So that's gonna be a, Excellent one for her to stabilize because she is a little bit unstable in that segment. The pain that she's had through there made that muscle a little bit weak, so she's a little bit unstable. This will help lock it in and stabilize it and build her lower back strength for running. It's gonna be great. So jump up from there, and that's great. The other thing we're gonna advance is her side plank. With her side plank she's been doing on her knees, we're gonna go on her feet, and this is heaps harder because there's more load. Try that for me, Em. So this one, remember, if she is doing, okay, she go, yeah, go, go the other way for me. Yeah, if she is doing her left hand side, her left hand side is down. Okay, so it's the side that is down that she's doing. Before she was on her knees, right? So she was on here, and she was just doing a normal sort of side plank. Now what she's got to do is go on her feet. So the top leg, 
goes forward, top leg goes forward, bottom leg goes back. She's got to try and stay on the edges of her shoes, okay? And she's got to try and keep her knees bent. A lot of people strain their legs and they don't use their legs when they do that, okay? So she's going to integrate her legs with her core. When she goes into a side plank, thrust forward and up, stays bent, okay? So she's got to balance it as a half. The thing about side playing is trying to maintain that stability. So she's gonna be working her left hand side, QL, obliques through there, maintain that. When you look at her, she's gotta be straight through here. When you look at what's happening here, she's got to squeeze her glute together. So she's doing a hip extension hold and squeezing those two together, which is really hard, right? She can, can't talk when she does that. She's got to not hold her breath though. And then she's using her legs to maintain that. When she drops, she sits. See that endurance, that's, so she didn't. She can last way longer on a side plank on her knees than she can on her feet, because it's just harder, okay? The levers are longer, it's a little bit more difficult. So she'd have to work on that endurance, and especially trying to get her left side endurance the same as her right side endurance. That's really important. If you're doing something that's bilateral like running, you've got to be, you can't have one side that's weaker, all right? So her left hand side will be even a little bit stronger, even that's not as good as it should be, okay? So you get those things right, she's gonna be doing really, really well. So one last piece to add to that was she was trying to use a trigger point ball to release like I do, to try and release off what she saw in the first video. Um, and it was getting, she wasn't really getting in and getting in like the physio does. So we've elevated her on a block like this. And this time though, she keeps her pelvis down. Okay, so she's actually gonna sit on the ground with this one rather than be elevated on the ball. And then because the block is making up the gap between her pelvis and her waist, okay. If you look over here through the mirror, you can see where the ball is, okay? So it's sitting on the right-hand side of her spine, going in on a sort of a 45-degree angle into that QL where she's got those knotty bits. And then she can roll around. She just has to weight bear through her arm a little bit here, but she can find the right point that feels exactly what I was doing, which helps her during the week when she's not seeing me, okay? She can't see me every day. So she's gonna do a little bit of this homework to try and keep relieving off that tension not digging in so hard that you bruise it, just relieving that tension which helps her with her other stretching so she gets rid of that tightness so she can train it properly. Okay, so that's what we're gonna change for her to this week and hopefully problem solved.